doing? I was just wondering why we're called United Methodists. Well, a long time ago, a man named John Wesley started a movement that grew into the church we know today. I know! Why don't we travel back in time and learn about John Wesley? Wesley was born in June 1703 in Epsworth, England. His father was a minister in the Church of England. These Christians were called Anglicans. That's right. His mother Susanna taught her 19 children about God in their home. This is why we now have Sunday School. John Wesley and his brother Charles went to Oxford University in England where they started a study group called Methodists, which means they had a method they used to study. John's brother Charles Wesley wrote a great many hymns that we still sing today. You'll find them in our United Methodist Hymnal. Naturally, John grew up to be a minister just like his dad. But, but John was not happy about some of the things the church had been teaching. John Wesley searched for answers and had an experience at Aldersgate on May 24, 1738. Here's how he describes it. I was listening to a reading of Martin Luther's remarks on Paul's letter to the Romans. It talked about being saved by faith through God's grace. Then I felt my heart strangely warmed. John Wesley felt the power of the Holy Spirit that day. The truth of God's word found in the Holy Bible told John Wesley just what he needed to hear. But leaders in the church had not been preaching truths like these to the people. They didn't like what John Wesley wanted to preach. John Wesley felt the church no longer called sinners to repent or to turn back from their sin and live a holy life dedicated to God. The Church of England would not let John Wesley preach in the pulpit anymore. So he and his friends started preaching outside in the fields to whoever would listen. That's when he got the chance to come to America with Gerald James Oglethorpe, the founder of the colony of Georgia where we live. James Oglethorpe wanted a missionary to preach to the settlers. John Wesley also preached to the Native Americans. John Wesley and his brother Charles traveled by horseback, preaching as many as three times a day. Preachers who traveled around on horseback were called circuit riders. It is said that John Wesley preached over 40,000 sermons. He wrote many of these down so we can read them today. Listen to some of the things John Wesley preached about. Nothing short of God can satisfy your soul. You have one business on earth to save souls. Not how much of my money will I give to God, but how much of God's money will I keep for myself. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as you ever can. Wow. 
Make all you can, save all you can, give all you can. John Wesley experienced God's love and the power of the Holy Spirit in his life. He shared the good news of Jesus wherever he went. John Wesley believed in doing good to others. Let's get back so we can do good for others at our church, Park Avenue United Methodist Church. so excited that you have decided to take this next step and join Park Avenue United Methodist Church. When people do that, I always ask two questions. The first question is not required, but I think it's really important. And that's this question. Do you reaffirm your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And here's the second question. It is required by our Book of Discipline, and that's this. Will you be loyal to this United Methodist Church and support her with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness. Well, it is a pleasure to welcome you into membership here at Park Avenue United Methodist Church. Congratulations. As a part of Park Avenue United Methodist Church, you and I can do our part to serve others by giving of our time, talents, and money to God and by telling others about Jesus.